Good morning, friends. This is Jagdish Shahuja, ex-president, Bangalore Stock Exchange, and your teacher, trainer, wealth transformer. What are we looking at now today? We are looking at uh, the gift nifty, of course, is 24,510 as we speak today morning. And uh, yes, we've got a great session ahead because it's budget time. The first, you know, very few times that the government gets to present the third time for the union budget. I think that's a great honor and privilege and a responsibility as well because the expectations of the people, you know, the citizens of the country is definitely higher. And of course, the world also is looking at it. So yes, what are we looking at now? This time we are looking at, you know, the the markets have already done a good run up, you know, right from the day when the exit poll was out, this is where the exit polls came out on, you know, where the sell of course didn't get triggered because 21,245 was the low till we got a buy and the buy was at 22, 23,335. That was on 7th of June, 2024. From there on, First profit booking, this was here, and the second profit booking was at this level. Uh, so, you know, close to the virtually almost one day after the peak is when you got your chance to book your profits. Well, but today it's not about all that. Today we are evenly poised. The market, of course, uh, has got you know support at 22,000, 24,200, which is a good support, and resistance at 24,900. So the market hopefully will play within this particular range, 300 on the bottom, 400 on the top. And I don't expect the markets to break either side unless there are some crazy things which are going to come out because of F and O. Yes. So what are we looking at the F and O? Well, the F and O uh, data is a little worrying because, you know, it happened to me some time back. I was able to go, you know, to into the, uh, I had gone uh, for a movie and in that movie time, it, uh, it happened so happened that I was, uh, you know, interacting uh, with the lift man and he was hearing, you know, call and put. I heard that on the phone. So I just asked him, well, who's he watching? And then I saw the trainer who he was following. I asked him whether he trades in FNO. He said he doesn't trade in FNO, but would definitely bring some money from his village later on, you know, by liquidating something and trading in FNO. That's when I realized that, yes, things are getting out of hand when it comes to futures and options because... Everybody makes option selling, or option buying, zero to hero, everything going on everywhere just in order to, you know, create a sort of a greed among people and missile them into thinking f and is easy. Even though, of course, every time you put on your system, you get a warning, uh, which is, uh, you know, a statutory warning, like how you get on cigarette packs, smoking is injurious to your health, whereas f and trading is injurious to your wealth. Almost 90% of the people lose money, and that's the data which SEBI has already collected. Uh, you know, in uh, in FNO, apart from that, 8% lose it uh, because of the trading, the transaction charges, and break even only after they are able to, you know, just cover their transaction charges. The rest is only 1% to 2% of people actually make money in FNO. Now, with that sort of risk reward, like 99 people losing money and 1 or 98, 99 people losing money, that's not a great, uh, you know, uh, track record for anybody to be in. However, the money has now started to get diverted. And that is evident from the slowing of deposits as money has started to come in. We've seen the, the SIPs go up to 20,000 crores and that is coming, you know, that's the good part of it. But the bad part which is coming is the one which is coming in the derivative markets. And that which is coming in the derivative markets needs to be curbed. And that is what... The Honorable Finance Minister is also going to do and the SEBI chairman is also talking about. So suddenly from, you know, after turning a blind's eye when NSE and other exchanges were cutting lot sizes, you know, making it easy and accessible for people. Now they're thinking that, yes, I think it's become, the bubble has really become too big. The tail is actually wagging the dog. So looking at that now, uh, what would be the options? Well, the first option is definitely you know, to, in, to uh, increase margins, one, and then apart from that, to also increase the lot size. By increasing lot size, what will happen is that, uh, you know, there will be some people who will not be about to trade, but then they will move to riskier trades, like slightly even out of the money trades. So, you know, that, that could negate. The second option they could do is with the taxation. 
Well, taxation, as I already told you, 90% of the people are losing money on the stock markets and 8% are just breaking even. So you are going to tax only the 2%. You know That doesn't make sense because 98% again will suffer all the taxation and you know the disclosures and the way you want them to you know actually report transactions, etc., etc. So that, if they do, will be a retrograde step. The third option seems to be a viable option and that could be higher capital adequacy norms. Just like how we have accredited investors, you know, we could have certain norms regarding net worth criteria for people to trade in the, you know, in the uh, futures and options, especially the, you know, options, uh, because that is where the danger lies. That's where people with not a great net worth are coming and pledging their, you know, land and, you know, raising money in all sorts of ways by selling jewelry, etc., hoping to, you know, make it rich and seeing a lot of trainers come around and, you know, display and flaunt their wealth and, uh, you know, talk about it like, you know, money making is so easy. However, you know, that's like selling snake oil and we all know that. So with that, I think the last solution uh, would be the best solution. Hopefully wise sense prevails. And that's the reason for me to be making a video just to give you guys a heads up on what could possibly come and my ideas on the same. And yes, so enjoy trading today and 24,900 and 25 to 24,200. We'll look out for both of them. This is Jagdish Shahuja signing out. Take care, adios, amigos, and enjoy your trading and enjoy happy investing. Bye-bye.